So no console is perfect, and it does appear that third parties have set out to fix some of the issues with the Switch that Nintendo really hasn't done much about yet. Think of the D-pad, for example. There's no D-pad on the Switch in its default mode. You have to get a Pro Controller, for example, or get uh, one of several third-party controllers or the uh, Hori uh, D-pad Joy-Con, for example. Uh, it's Or you can reshell, of course, your, your Joy-Con controllers, but Nintendo still has not made, which is very weird to me, a D-pad Joy-Con controller. Now, when the Switch first came out, controls came up quite a bit, specifically around the system when it was in portable mode. For example, the right stick on the Joy-Con really kind of put people off a bit because we were kind of used to, if you're playing Nintendo platforms, kind of the uh, symmetrical sticks with like the Wii U tablet, for example, even the Wii U Pro Controller. Uh, those were things that we, we were used to, right? The offset sticks for me is preferred because I, I like that setup on the Xbox One controller, uh, the 360 controller. I don't necessarily prefer the symmetrical sticks on the PS4 controller, although I don't think it's like the end of the world. I, I can still use them. But because I'll, I'll play a lot like shooters like Halo, I prefer the offset sticks. So naturally, I did like the Switch Pro controller, but... The offset sticks on the the Switch in portable mode is uh, frustrating because overuse of it or using it for a while can give you what's called that claw thumb, right? Where it is uncomfortable because of the angle that you have to hold it at. So we're getting things like grips that have made it better, like the Satisfy grip, as an example, has really helped with that. And now we're seeing iPega come out with a, what I think so far looks compelling. It, it's a new accessory that they're putting out. It's called the Tomahawk, which, uh, interesting name, I guess, the decision on the title for that accessory. But it looks to fix some of those issues, some of the biggest issues around the Switch in portal mode. And I am curious about it. I wanted to show it to you today, but I also want to let you know that I have ordered it, and they said it'll be here by the end of the month, sometime in like the end of the month to like the first week of October, somewhere in there, probably because it's coming from China, most likely, I mean, just to be honest, I ordered on Amazon, which I'll leave a link to that down below as well if you want to learn more about it, but I would wait for uh, my video on it because, uh, well, I'll talk a little bit about IPEGA and some of the concerns I have around it, around it but let me show you this device. So this is the IPEGA 9163 Tomahawk 163N Switch game handle. Rolls right off the tongue. No problem marketing that, obviously. But I'm more interested in the device itself rather than the name. I'll just refer to it as the IPEGA Tomahawk. All right, how about we go with that? The IPEGA Tomahawk. And this is, according to them, going to be uh, fairly large, as you see. It's not little, right? Like, you see the Switch, and then you see the grip. Uh, not a small thing. Like, I don't see this as something that's going to leave the house necessarily. I see this as uh, being marketed towards people who maybe play around the house, more or less, in portable mode. Maybe you keep your Switch by, like, your bed because you play at night before going to bed. Or maybe you're just someone who, hey, I, I just, I play off of the TV because that's what I prefer. I, I know people who just who want to play their Switch and watch TV at the same time, and it's much easier to do it that way. Sounds good. I get it. The, just because the Switch is portable doesn't necessarily mean it's portable outside of the house. So you can see the Tomahawk 163N Switch game handle here, and you can see immediately, although they have these arrows over it, which is, you figure that they're, I'll say this, their website isn't set up the greatest. <laughs> so uh, bear with me here. The sticks are symmetrical at the top, by the way, similar to that Wii U Pro controller or the Wii U gamepad. In fact, I look at this and I kind of see the Wii U gamepad almost, which might be frightening to some, right? But uh, the Wii U gamepad there, we do have symmetrical sticks at the top. We have a D-pad underneath that left stick. This arrow is in the way, but it, it, it's right here. And then we have, of course, the minus, capture, plus, and then home. They have also fixed the A and B button to be in the correct spots, whereas in their previous stuff, they were in the incorrect spot so a and b were uh were not in the similar spot to what how nintendo has a setup it was uh kind of switched around um so we have that it looks like the switch base unit like just the tablet part will slide into this and there is a usb type c port on the bottom my only concern here is I don't see a way to charge through this. I think it's going to be basically powered to it, and it'll basically be like plugging a controller into it in portable mode, which is fine. I mean, we've we've done that before with adapters and everything, so that's not like a big deal. 
But I was hoping that there would be some sort of uh, port on the bottom for this thing. And you can get a better look here. They do have the, the, the holes on the back for like the intake and everything through the vents. We can see that the, uh, they, it looks like they have them as L2 and L rather than like ZL and ZR. Uh, but they look like they're kind of mushy. It almost looks like uh, triggers. So similar to like what I guess an analog trigger would feel like. I don't know if they are analog triggers, but uh, they don't necessarily look like the clicky digital ones that would be on uh, the Pro Controller. Again, I, we have to see them to, to figure that out. Uh, but you can see the switch just slides in. I assume there are some railings here that it fits into. And then we have the larger grips on the back, which seems like it's set up very well for someone who has, as you see here, larger hands, who maybe would prefer having like a, a good spot to grip on it rather than the joy cons don't give you a lot right that's why people are buying these grips uh, in general so i like the idea there i'm also curious about the sticks as they go into a bit more detail unfortunately it's in uh i, I believe it's in chinese i want to say so it's uh it's a bit harder to read but they talk about uh hair triggers okay and then they talk about the joysticks having a bit more tension it sounds like so i'm hoping these feel more like an xbox one joystick i think that'd be good and then the buttons are hopefully not clicky and they have a bit more of a cushion like how the pro controller does um, but overall i like what i see here i have ordered one uh, i just have to wait for it to get here again it's going to be a bit um, but this looks like it could solve a lot of problems that people have with the switch in portable mode but here's my one concern it's ipega and i've looked at ipega accessories before and my biggest issues with ipega has to do with the plastic feel it generally feels like cheap plastic or cheap er plastic and i have a strong feeling this is going to be lighter because it does not support rumble based on their documentation after it's been translated mentions that there's no like hd rumble which okay i, I get that you got to save money somewhere and there's no gyro controls here's the thing about that part the switch base unit itself the tablet has gyro built in that's why things like labo vr work like it, it just works fine uh because it's built into the base unit so that part don't worry about that the rumble might be an issue for some. However, the price is $30 for this, which isn't bad. Like you see grips for like $20 to $25, and this is like the full setup. So with a D-pad, which again, we have to see, uh, the pricing is not bad at $30 though. Like overall, this could be good. However, again, $30, I'm concerned on uh, the overall quality of it. It's iPega, I've seen their stuff. We looked at that uh, arcade stick wasn't the greatest quality uh so i'm a bit concerned on that um and how it feels and if it's too light or not but so far i'm at least interested and we'll see when it comes out uh it's on amazon now I'll leave a link below but wait for my video on it just so i can give you guys the nod that it is solid or that you might want to pass on it and wait for the next one let me know what you guys think about the ipega 9163 tomahawk 163 n switch game handle accessory from what we've seen and uh, I'm curious, let me know if the, the symmetrical sticks are interesting to you, the D-pad and everything else. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it. Just like it if not. And I'll see you guys next time.